guys, so today we're going to be doing an oil change on my four-wheeler. So, let's get started. My, my four-wheeler is a Can-Am DS90, and we're going to be putting in XPS Can-Am oil into it today. So, right there is the oil plug where my dad's going to help me get to him. So, so we, have, we have two plugs on this, bud. We have the oil plug right there where we're going to drain out the majority of the oil. Mm -hmm. And then up on this side, up, mm -hmm. if we go up underneath, right where my finger is, that one is for your spring filter, or your screen filter. Okay? We need to check the oil right here in the four-wheeler. What we do is we unscrew it. Okay, and hold that out, buddy. Fold it up. Mm -hmm. Fold it up and put it in your hand. Like okay. that? Yep. And we put it right on there. And dab it. There you go. Okay. Now that. Whoops. Okay, clean it off one more time. Okay, let's see how clean it is. Okay, so we're going to need oil up to this little point right here. Okay. Okay. So I need to open that, dab nope. that in. Nope. So we're going to put it back in. Okay. And I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take this and we're going to look at it. Looks like you are really, really low. That is not good at all. There's no oil on that dipstick. How did we miss that? I don't know. So, we're just going to leave this out, bud. Mm -hmm. So that the oil it can get some air. And you are a little bit low mm -hmm. on oil. So it's a good thing we checked it like we're supposed to. We take this oil pan, which is already full from the other two four-wheelers I've done. We have to slide it up underneath there. So that's where we want it, right there, so that it catches the oil when it comes down. We can see that it's in a good spot. Okay. So now we got to undo that bolt. It's on. Okay, what size socket did I say we were using? Um, I didn't hear you correctly the first time. It's a 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter? Okay. Yep. So let's get that right up in there and you go up underneath and get that on there oh go, go underneath that okay now it's on okay and that needs to go different direction right like that okay now keep that pressure on there and can you turn it as hard as you can okay i'm gonna have to help you buddy that one's the tough one to crack. It is. Okay, so we got it broke free. No, you got to go the other way. Okay. Now you might be able to just do it by hand. You might be able to do it just by hand. And then. Okay. Let's see. I'll take this out. Nope. Um, that might be hot. No. Okay. Now, just so you know. Nope. Wrong way. Okay. Don't drop it. Because if you do, you're gonna get a handful of oil. But when you get to the very end, there comes the oil. Okay. You want me to go and grab one of those things and put it on it? So now the oil's draining. So you want to give that one a try, huh? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Okay. You want me to do it? Or can you get it? I need you to get it, Dad. Okay. He's going for the bolt. That bolt right there. You can see that that thing is latching onto. And it came loose. And this is where we get a handful of oil. And I'll get you a towel ready? Yep. Okay. 
Wait a second, bud. Ooh, that's a little warm. Okay, see? Yeah, it looks like it has a bullet in it. It does. That's your screen. That's, that's your oil filter. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get a solvent to clean that with. Now that we've got the majority of the oil off, so we'll just go ahead and go clean that with a solvent right now. You right. So, so now we got to, to, to blow them off with... Uh, an air compressor. With compressed air, now that we've cleaned them. So, so, you're going to have to hold it in your hand, take that piece, and then hold it really tight because that air will blow it out. Okay, so we clean those out with compressed air now. So we need to put them together. So... And we got to put that one back in. Green goes on there like that. Yep. That goes on there like that. Yep, let's get it back in. Push up. You got to compress that spring. And then seat it. There you go, that's the right direction. You just got to get it to bite. You did a bite? You did. Good job, man. So now we're putting back in the other plug, right, Dad? Yep. Then we'll be good to go after you put the oil in. Okay, so we got that threaded. Now all you need to do is tighten it. Yep. Okay, it is tight. Let's get some oil in this. Okay, so first we're going to make sure our funnel's clean. So put the oil down. Okay. And then just wipe off the front of the funnel. Which end was it? The, nope, the other end. Just because when I've had it out today, it may have gotten dirt, in it. dirt on the top of it. Not inside, because it's all oil on the inside. But it may have, okay. So then we take the, the dipstick out. And then you can put the funnel in. And you just set it just like that. Okay. And then, and then you gotta open, open that up. your oil and then get off the thing. Yep. Okay. okay. And your four-wheeler takes exactly one quart, so we'll put the whole thing in there. Okay, so if it's all out, go ahead and take the flip that over without spilling any oil. Put the lid back on it. So if I bump into it? Yep. And we're going to let the funnel finish getting all the oil out of it. All of it. A napkin so that wipe it right away whenever you get it out. Yep, right, wipe it. Okay, and then go set the funnel off to the side and screw now that. What we do is we put this back in and screw it on. Screw it, yep, all the way in. And then we're clear. Nope, we got to check the oil level and make sure. <laughs> That's so close, buddy. Okay. So put that back in. out and we okay. should see some nice clear oil on there at just the right level which it is perfect and so we're good with the oil yep so our oil change is complete today so today we only use three tools on changing the oil on my four-wheeler yep so what do we do after we're done we pick up yep we pick up we take those pull them all apart yeah. all right so let's go put those away in our socket drawer. Right there. Nope, that's not the socket drawer. That, nope, that's not the socket drawer. This is the socket drawer. Look at how messy that is. One of these days we're going to make another video on cleaning this up. Yep, we are. We sure are. Two. Okay, so what I've learned today is that on these, they have something that um you check the oil with, and then... 
I learned where the oil plug was, and then the where the spring plug was, and then. How much oil does it take? It takes one whole bottle for a ninety. One, one quart. One quart. Yep. For a Can-Am DS90. So thanks for watching.